Hey there everyone and how are you all doing today? I am Joe Marin and welcome to another video here on Mobile Cup of Joe. So in the previous video that I uploaded, I showed you how to unlock the bootloader for your Moto X smartphone. Now assuming you have that done, uh, if you haven't seen that video yet or you would like to know how to unlock the bootloader for your Moto X, definitely uh, check it out in the description below. Check out that link to that video. But assuming you already have the bootloader unlocked for your Moto X, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to flash TWRP, how to gain root access, and how to install the exposed framework. So we have a lot of stuff we're going to be covering in this video, so you know what, let's not waste any more time of talking, and let's get a rooting on our Moto X. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Hey there everyone, and let's go ahead and get ready to get root on our Moto X. A couple of things, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to unlock the bootloader or bootloader of the Moto X, I highly suggest you watch that first because some of the stuff we're doing in here, I'm going to assume you've already seen the first video uh, just so I can go ahead and make this snappier and don't have to backpedal on some stuff I've covered previously. Um, so let's waste any more time again. You need to make sure the bootloader is unlocked. Link in the description below for my first video of how to do that. Watch that and then come back and watch this video right here. Now if you've seen my first video on how to do that, great. We are ready to actually gain root on our phone. Now we're going to be dealing with that same package I downloaded earlier from Elemental X. Again, when you installed this earlier, you got you know, everything like ADB, Fastboot, Unfastboot, Recovery things, all that great stuff. However, when I first did this, I had an older version of TWRP. Now, you can see right now I have 2.7.1.1. Now, I have this in here now. I don't know if you can hear that grandfather clock going off in the background, but stopping now. Um, but I have 2.7.1.1 right now. This is because I went ahead and downloaded and put a new version of it in here. When I initially downloaded this file from Elemental X, I had the old 2.6.3.1 or something like that. Um, so if you have 2.7 out of the box, you are fine. You don't need to do this. But if for some reason when you do download it, you have the old 2.6 version, I will have a link in the description below for this download link for the new 2.7 image file. Um, so once you go ahead and make sure you have the 2.7 in there, again, if you have it in there by default, no need to do this. But just in case you have the old 2.6, this is a very easy link to go ahead and install the image file. So go ahead and cl click it to get this download working. And once it does download, simply go ahead, once it's finished, um, go ahead and put it in the initial file folder for Elemental X, which I've just renamed Moto X Root Tools. Extract it once more, and you are good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and hop over to my Moto X, because we've got to make sure that we have our USB debugging enabled. So go ahead and back out of that. Get this chat head out of here. Hop into my settings. And you want to make sure that you have developer options enabled. If these are not enabled, simply simply go to your about phone, scroll all the way down to build number, tap on that until it says congratulations, you are now a developer. Back out of that, go to developer options. And under the debugging section, make sure that USB debugging, that checkbox is marked. And once we have that done, all we have to do is make sure the Moto X is plugged into our computer. and we are now plugged into the computer and ready to go for the next few steps. And once you have that plugged in, we're going to go ahead into this folder right here for the Elemental X, again, which I've just renamed Moto X Root Tools. And when you plug in your Moto X, if it has to install new drivers or update them, let it go ahead and do that. But once it's all installed and the drivers are updated, go ahead to this folder right here, and inside of it, hold down Shift on your keyboard, right-click, and select Open Command Window here. Now from here we're going to type in the command ADB devices and hit enter. And you can see this says list of devices attached, the model number of my phone, and then device. If right here where I'm highlighting it does not say device, simply go to your phone. There will be a pop-up on the screen and it'll say like something about do you want to allow USB debugging on this device? You're just going to click OK or allow or whatever it says. And once you do that, just come back here and type in ADB devices and just make sure it says device right here next to your number and that means ADB is online it's working everything's talking to each other like it should 
and you are ready to go on to the next step. Now that next step right here is entering another ADB command. This time we're typing in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And you can see now on the Moto X that is hopping into the bootloader mode. Now the next step is going to be an mfastboot command. Now when I initially downloaded this package from Elemental X for some reason, I'm not sure why, mfastboot was not included in it. Now it should have been, but it was not. Now when you download it, mfastboot will most likely be included in this package, but if for some strange reason it was not included, like mine wasn't, I have a link where you can download the .exe file from .tech.org. All you got to do is click on it right here, again, link in the description below for this, and it will direct you or redirect you to an XDA developers forum. I'll go ahead and click on the link right here, and you'll download an mfastboot file. Again, if mfastboot is included by default in there like it should be, um, you are good to go. I'm going to hop back into our command window right here and type in mfastboot devices and hit enter. And if you see something that says your model number, again right here in fastboot, that means that everything is working like it should be. And the mfastboot is working. So we're going to get and just make sure one more time, mfastboot devices, enter fastboot device or no, model for the phone. Everything is online. Everything is working. Fastboot is working. We are ready to go ahead and flash TWRP. So we're going to enter another command. This time the command is mfastboot flash recovery and then we're going to go ahead and space that again go to our open recovery our TWRP uh, disk image file select that right click go to rename right click again and copy hop back into your command window right click and paste that bad boy into there so you have typed in mfastboot space recover or mfast boot space flash another space then recovery space and then the name for your recovery in this case open recovery dash twrp dash 2.7.1.1 dash ghost and then from here you're going to hit enter on your keyboard and you're going to see a strand of code right here and you're going to see a strand of code under the bootloader for your moto x i'm not going to hit enter because i already have twrp flash on here and there's no real need to do that but once you hit enter and it's all done doing its thing, you can go ahead and exit out of this command window. And now on the bootloader over here on the Moto X, the controls are done via the volume rocker, in which the volume down is where you scroll down through the menu, and volume up is to select your recovery. So volume up selects it, volume down scrolls through it. And we want to go to the recovery option, which is, as you can see, the second option. So go ahead, volume down once to recovery, and then hit the volume up button. And from here you're going to see uh, the warning bootloader unlocked thing again that Motorola likes to throw on there. But then you'll see team win right here. And this means that you have successfully flashed TWRP onto your Moto X. Now it's going to show that logo for a bit of time. Like it's doing right now. Taking its sweet time right now. And there you go. You have TWRP team win recovery project um it is showing up as version 2.6.3.1 that is fine uh you either way you have twrp and you're ready to rock and roll now from here to gain root access you can actually gain it directly through the team win recovery project on here simply go to um from your list of choices go to the bottom one the right hand corner called reboot touch it is all touch interface which is very very nice over the clockwork recovery and then after reboot, go to system. And when you do this for the first time, you're going to get something that says uh, super user access is required. Swipe to gain root access. So you're going to go ahead and swipe that. And then you're going to go through this um, reboot process right here. Now, mine did not pop up because I already have the root access on here. But when you go to um, reboot system, it'll say, you know, swipe to install super SU. Very self-explanatory. Just go ahead, swipe it. Then it's going to do this automatic reboot of the device. And once it finishes booting up, you will have full root access on your device with Super SU access. Now you can download all those great um, root applications. And just finishing up right now. And it looks like it is finished installing. 
or finished booting up rather. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download uh, the exposed framework. And I'm not going to go into full detail about it. I'm just going to show you where you can go to download it. So just go to a Google. If our Google wants to open right now, taking a little bit of time just because, uh, you know, just boot it up. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and type in exposed installer. And go ahead and select that. And from here, you can see we have a list of places to go to. We're going to want to go to, go to the first one, exposed installer, exposed module. Back out of that. A repository, click on that. And you see mine is taking me directly to the exposed installer because that's how I have it set up to, to take me to an exposed thing. We're going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to have a download link for the exposed framework. Just go ahead and click on that. And from there you get to download like an APK. Just swipe down, install it, and you'll have the exposed framework on here. And right now we just flashed TWRP. We just gained root access as you can see. Prove it to you right here. We can go here and swipe over and you see super su right there we're rocking and we are rolling we have got root we have got exposed framework which you can see like i've got swipe over to it uh, exposed installer right here we have twrp we are rocking and rolling we are ready to start getting weird and crazy with our moto x so way to go guys congratulations you have now successfully Flash TWRP, gained root access, and installed the exposed framework on your Moto X smartphone. So again, I didn't go into all the full details of what you can do with root, of what the applications you can get with root access, or all the different modules for the exposed framework. I will be diving into those in future videos. This is just showing you strictly how to gain access and how to access those types of things. So if there is a certain module for the exposed framework or a certain application which requires root that you'd like to see me cover, I'll please let me know down in the comments below or get in the discussions with me on the Moto X community page on Google+. I will also prov provide a link for that in the description below as well. If you want to stay in touch with me some more on Google+, outside of Google+, and outside of YouTube, follow me on Twitter, uh, where I am at JoeMarin1, and follow the YouTube account as well, where it is at MobileCupOfJoe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.